Evening, great time of day and very good for some of nature's smaller creatures. So let me introduce you to a speedster and a bulldozer of the animal world. First of all, let's have a look at the bulldozer. It's a millipede. Now, millipede means a thousand legs. It doesn't have that, it has some hundred. But they're very small and each one is weak. Still, it's rather like having a few hundred children pushing a train. Each one's weak, but together they can accomplish a lot. So that's the bulldozer of the animal kingdom. It has to have strength to burrow through the rotting compost in which it feeds. Oh, so much for the bulldozer. Let's have a look at the other one. Here's a centipede sheltering in a garage here. And it should stay still because it's made flat top to bottom to fit into crevices. And as long as it's in a crevice, it stays quiet. Take off the cover and it starts to move. You notice it moves pretty fast. It's got legs on the side and they're long. And so this is built for speed or hunting rather than slow, powerful burrowing. I won't touch it because it can bite. Well, centipedes and millipedes both have legs with some peculiarities that yours and mine don't have. See, when we move legs or arms, we use muscles. And we use muscles to flex them, and we use muscles to extend them. But millipedes and centipedes only have muscles to flex them. To extend them, they use water, or at least liquid in their bodies. They literally blow their legs up and out. It's a bit like this. I can do it with balloons. First, a right leg, and second, a left. I'm using air, but they use water or liquid inside their bodies, and they throw out the legs like that and then contract them to either bulldoze their way along or speed their way along, depending on their particular mode of life. I want to know. Curiosity.